And now, Maestro Jack Everly, our orchestra, and military choruses perform the Armed Forces Medley. Whether here or watching at home, if you are able, please stand when your service is presented. United States Air Force and United States Space Force. It is our honor to introduce the distinguished chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Please welcome General Mark A. Milley. Good evening. Tonight we celebrate our 154th Memorial Day and we pause to honor the more than one million Americans who made the ultimate sacrifice since the founding of our nation. We remember their courage. We remember how they lived. We remember their selfless service. We honor their sacrifice. And behind every one of these men and women is a family, a husband or a wife, a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a son or daughter taken taken too soon, a child left behind, a dream never realized. For the families of the fallen, every day is Memorial Day. Each of our fallen gave their tomorrows for our today and gave their last full measure of devotion. So we, 
all of us, as Americans, under these colors of red, white, and blue, can continue to hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and all women are created free and equal, and that we are endowed by our Creator with the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So we pause. We pause on Memorial Day to remember. And we rededicate ourselves to give meaning to their sacrifice by continuing to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and to defend our principles and our way of life. Tonight, thousands of Americans are deployed across the globe on freedom's frontier, defending against those who would do us harm. We stand the watch. We stand the watch to ensure that our fallen did not die in vain, to ensure that this experiment in liberty, this government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from this earth. On behalf of those deployed around the world, and all of the 2.1 million of us wearing the cloth of our nation, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff with me here on the stage, thank you. Thank you for remembering. Thank you for remembering our fallen and honoring the cause for which they lived.